So we were catching the scheduled Air Greenland flight from Reykjavik to Nuuk, Greenland's capital. There was a two hour delay caused by strong headwinds on the outbound flight and as we were boarding the captain informed us that the Dash 7 no longer had enough fuel to get us all the way across the ice cap. The solution? A refuelling stop at Kulusuk on the east coast of Greenland. However, as an apology, any passenger who wished to could visit the cockpit. A dream come true. Hello. Now it's hard to overstate how remote Kulusuk is. Only around two and a half thousand people live on the entire east coast of Greenland. The region suffers economically and socially from its isolation. Kulusuk Island itself has a population of just over 200. The airfield with its gravel runway was built by the US Air Force in the 1950s and it served as an early warning station until 1991. There are times in life when a flight alteration works to your advantage. I never imagined that I would ever visit the remote settlement of Kulasuk on the east coast of Greenland. And yet, here we are. Baggage handling is carried out outdoors and there isn't enough space in the terminal for all arriving and departing passengers. There are also frequent cancellations as Kulasuk Island is regularly battered by gales blowing in off the Greenland Sea. It's what you might call a challenging airport. The scheduled flight from Kulasuk is the only domestic Air Greenland flight that crosses the ice cap. Without it, it's hard to see how the East Coast settlements could survive. Around three hours later than scheduled, we finally arrive at Nuuk. We're in Greenland! <laughs> now if you're flying in Greenland, then schedule changes are commonplace due to the extreme weather conditions and the limitations of the Dash 7 planes. If you get delayed, then just go with the flow. You may just have an unforeseen adventure.